in hot water again years later. 19 investigates uncovered one of the two Cleveland police officers involved in the shooting death of the 12 year old Tamir Rice lost his gun and badge for nearly a month after CPD suspended him for police misconduct, including making derogatory remarks. Cleveland's public safety director called it, quote, a gross neglect, neglect rather of duty. Investigator Sarah Goldenberg has this story you'll only see on 19 News. Our investigation uncovered Cleveland police suspended Officer Frank Garnback Sr. for 25 days. That's five times longer than the suspension he served for his role in the Tamir Rice case. Internal affairs found Garnback Sr. violated more than a dozen of the department's rules and procedures while working at his part-time job. Officer Frank Garnback Sr. He's the veteran Cleveland police officer driving the patrol car that November day back in 2014, stopping just feet away from 12 year old Tamir Rice before his partner Timothy Lohman jumped out and fired the shots that killed the boy. The two CPD cops faced no criminal charges. Garnback Sr. later served a five day suspension for employing improper tactics. We are in the IA office. Uh, conducting a Garrity interview with Frank Garnback, uh, 1582. 19 investigates learned Officer Garnback Sr. faced an internal investigation by police again, more than six years later, starting March 2021. This involved his part time job at Pull Apart Junkyard on West 130th Street near I 71, where he worked security while off duty. The incidents go back to the spring of 2020 through March of 2021. Four employees working with Garnback Sr. reported a pattern of intimidation and complained he made derogatory comments about Hispanics. A manager reported their concerns to CPD. We blurred their faces to protect their identities. There were comments by employees that were made that were, uh, you know, that guy's a racist, he's a this, he's a that. This body camera from CPD shows a sergeant with internal affairs interviewing those employees. This woman said music was playing one day when Officer Garback Sr. walked in. He said he screamed out, I don't want to hear this Mexican music. And it wasn't me playing it, but he looked towards me. So he grabbed the radio, unplugged it, and took it to me. And I said, I'm not playing that. It was him. And he was like, he was like, oh, I assume it was you. Okay. So I was like, well, why? Because I'm Spanish and I'm not Mexican. I'm Puerto Rican. Garnback Sr. also made other comments several employees were offended by. Internal Affairs interviewed this man over the phone. He wrote down what Officer Garnback said one day. Those kinds of people driving those kinds of cars, he was referring to Puerto Rican or Spanish people driving Hondas and Acuras, just being racist with, with the customers. These employees also said Garnback Sr. harassed them by running their license plates for no reason. Randomly, we having a conversation, and then he comes out of nowhere. Hey, who car is that? And like, you know, startled me because the conversation, where did that come from, you know? So it was like, yeah, that truck doesn't belong to you. And I'm like, I don't get where this is going at, you know? I felt violated. You're supposed to be here to protect us, and why are you running my plates? You didn't run nobody else's plates in here, but me, another one of the cashiers, and the parts pro. You only ran our license plates, the only three minorities in the building. Dozens of documents we obtained from Cleveland police show a thorough nine-month investigation by Internal Affairs. According to internal affairs reports, CPD ultimately found Officer Garnback Sr. guilty of 14 department violations, including making derogatory remarks against his fellow civilian employees. The investigation also found some of these incidents happened while Garnback Sr. was on duty, and he failed to activate his body camera and document daily reports while conducting license plate inquiries with citizens at Pull Apart. His job is to make us as comfortable as possible to be in here, you know, mm -hmm. and that completely went left. Officer Garnback Sr. no longer works at Pull Apart. During this video interview with Internal Affairs, he explained why he thought those employees may have reported him. I don't know if they ran my name, and some people might not like it. The incident I was in, I'm not going to go in depth with it because we're in thing, but I don't know if that's a vendetta or not. The city prosecutor declined to press criminal charges in this case. 
Officer Garnback Sr. had to be retrained in four areas when he returned from his suspension in spring 2022. We'll have more from his interview with Internal Affairs and tell you why his son, who is also a CPD officer, got suspended too. That's tonight at 6. Sarah Goldenberg, 19 News. And we reached out to Officer Garnback Sr. through the police union. The Cleveland Police Patrolmen's Association were told he cannot talk due to policy. The union president told us when it comes to some of these violations, Garnback Sr. should have known better, but he's a good officer. We'll have that interview and our story later on tonight. Now.